here is the occipitalis muscle and it attaches, this is its origin, is to the superior nuchal line which is the line that runs along the base of your skull and it inserts into the gallia aponeurotica um, and obviously there's one on each side. It's a very thin muscle but is if you feel this part of your skull you'll feel that there's actually a little depression beneath the muscle and it fills the muscle. The occipitalis and the frontalis act together tensioning up the gallia and they also uh, one acts as a counterbalance for the other so if the frontalis is going to uh, cause a wrinkle in your forehead or uh, pulling your eyes open or, or, or causing wrinkles or, or causing the frown look on your face often the occipitalis will tension up as well as part of this concerted movement. Other fascinating things, the occipitalis in some people will um, allow your ears to ring, wriggle around which was something that I, I had a friend when I was a child who could wriggle his ears and it was something that I absolutely worked so hard to do and failed miserably. So this only occurs in some people. When they contract together the you have the feeling like your hair stands on end and so with chronic anxiety often these muscles are tensioned up and they you uh, have this feeling of the feeling of anxiety and tension literally is occurs in these two muscles to the extent that when people do biofeedback one of the muscles that they uh, constantly monitor that you learn to try and relax by um, looking at tension in a muscle in a on, on a machine is are these two muscles you put a, a very fine little needle either into the frontalis or you put a, a little sensor over your frontalis or your occipitalis muscle and then you can either hear it as a buzz sound of the machine or you can see it on, an, on a screen um, uh, and you learn to try and relax these muscles and once you learn to try and relax these muscles what you're also doing is you are learning to reduce the anxiety that you feel or the tension that you feel the anatomical landmarks are the superior nuchal line which when you feel along the base of the skull you need to come up perhaps a centimeter from the right down at the bottom which is where the suboccipitals join in and you feel a ridge running along and then below beyond the ridge there's a little depression so the bottom is the superior nuchal line and above you're already into the hair line um, and you can't really feel the top of the of the muscle itself it just joins almost seamlessly into the gallia it is really really common to find tender points the trigger points in uh, the occipitalis muscle and this is where it lives.